Hello and welcome to the Motocross Network. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the newly signed factory Ducati MXGP rider, Jeremy Sewer. Watch some footage of his first ride and hear his thoughts on the new team and new bike. First, if you want to support us, head to the mxnetwork.store and grab a copy of our magazine. Most of them are sold out right now. Um, but we do have our latest issue, issue number 10, still available. We also have a couple copies, a couple issues from last year. Those are still available on sale if you're interested. And we even have our very first issue. We found a very small stack of these in our storage. Uh, so if you want to see where we began, this is available. And if you want to see our best work, issue number 10 is available there as well. We're now doing everything from beginning to end right here in the United States in our office, writing editing and printing uh so we took on a heavy workload and expense to print these ourselves so if you want to go support us this is the best way go snag a copy or two on the mxnetwork.store all right so long time yamaha factory mxgp rider jeremy c was was known for his consistency in the top group of the world championship over the years unfortunately in 2023 he began to struggle with his yamaha which led to his decision to leave and switch to kawasaki for 2024 now, the switch didn't pan out well for him. He remained on the struggle bus throughout the year, never really got acclimated to the new machine. Uh, yeah, he never really recovered throughout the year. We thought he would, but never happened. I mean, he did finish on the podium in two races, which was good to see, but he was really around a sixth, maybe eighth place guy consistently, not to see where we've come to know and love. About midway through the year, I'd say, the rumors began swirling that Ducati was eyeing up Jeremy Sewer for their factory team in 2025. It made sense. He was a reasonable choice. He's a very consistent veteran rider with loads of experience. He'd be perfect for a new team. Then towards the end of September, Sewer put pen to paper and made it official. In 2025, he would race for the new Ducati factory MXGP team. And uh, yeah, that was a two-year plus deal, by the way. Since the end of the season, we've been just waiting for his Kawasaki uh, contract, his gear deals, and all that to end so his new ones can take effect and we can finally see him on his new team. And that finally happened yesterday. We got to see him on the new bike for the first time and hear his opinion on the bike, the team, and how they plan to move forward, what his goals are and such. Before we get into his thoughts, let's take a look at the first footage of Jeremy Sewer on the Ducati. Now, unfortunately, there isn't any sound, so forgive me on that. That's not on my part. Music was put over the clip when they posted it, so yeah, it's going to be silent, but Here's the first look of Jeremy Sewer on the Ducati. So there it is. I'm pumped to see this finally come to fruition. Um, he was riding the production bike in that clip. That's not the factory machine. So... That's what we can expect to see in dealerships soon. I got to say, I really like the looks of the new bike, and I really believe this fresh start for Seawer will really benefit him in the future. Let's now take a look at what Seawer had to say about the bike after his first rides on it yesterday. He spoke with MX Large in an interview. Um, Seawer was asked, you have had the last few years trouble with the Yamaha, and you were quite outspoken about that. And then you had trouble with the Kawasaki, and you were quite outspoken about that. Now, obviously, the Ducati, a completely new motocross bike. Have you ridden it, and how does it feel? Nobody really knows how it's going to be. I mean, they have GPs. They have had GPs, but not with a rider like you on it. See where responded, quote, I couldn't reach my potential, you know, so that's why I ended where I'm at now. And honestly, I've ridden the bike this week. Started testing Tuesday and Wednesday and super positive so far. You know, like, sure, we can't lie about that, that it's a completely new bike. Like, they can't catch up 20 years of development in two days, but I like the people involved, and they are the good ones. The politic around is the good one, and they are good in copying stuff, obviously. I mean, nowadays, it's easy to see how they do this. The same for us, and I just enjoy it again because what I was missing this year. I just started to kind of hate it because I didn't enjoy riding or racing anymore. You know, when the bike doesn't do what you think it does, and then the results are not there, and you want to get the results, but you can't, then no. I start to be frustrating, you know, like I'm not here to race for P8 or something. So most importantly, with the people involved, the mechanics and the engineers around team based in Italy, I start to enjoy it again, and that's what you need to be successful in even those first few days. I enjoyed it a lot, and I think the bike already now is on a good level for sure we need to put some work in. That's normable, but I think it should, shouldn't should take too long. 
He was then asked about the feel of the bike, if there's anything in particular he liked or disliked. Siri responded, quote, it corners incredible. Honestly, like, it's so funny. Like this year, I struggled so hard with cornering like the Kawasaki wouldn't turn. It would not turn as I wanted. And this bike now, it's like it goes around the corner by itself. Like, incredible. So good, you know, so that's insane. And then half of the other parts are just suspension and frame. I mean, I need to learn something completely else from KYB to Showa, and I've never been on Showa. So yeah, that's the point where I'm like, yeah, right, and it's not neg not really negative. It's just like it takes time, you know, like setting up a completely new bike is already a big thing, and then making it with new suspension, new people, yeah, that's tough. So overall, everything sounds positive. He seems to like it and have high hopes for 2025. With that being said, we're going to end this with his final question. What is his goal for 2025? And if he thought he could win a title in the future, see where responded, quote, I think the goal is, I don't know. It's so hard to say after two days on the bike. We need a few more months or weeks, but like the goal would be to win a race next year. To win a race would be insane for a brand just coming into GP, especially the level where MXGP is at now. You know, like these guys are fast and you know, they know what they're doing and their level in the first few guys is super fast. Honestly, somewhere, yes, because, I mean, we are being world champion. That's the top of the top. That's what you want to reach. But right now, I'm more trying to turn it around. I work as hard as I can this winter to get as far as I can without putting any pressure, which is nice to have. And then I will completely do my absolute best at being to be able to win the world championship. But I'm not putting myself on the pressure and say I want to win the world championship. No, I'm just trying to make the best of myself, trying to be as fit as possible, trying to help to get myself and get the bike as good as possible and then see how com competitive we are. That's the strategy, because if I start thinking now about winning a world title, then I am 10 steps too far ahead and I'm going to struggle. Sorry if that sounded a bit illiterate. It was kind of hard to read because uh, English isn't Seawar's first language, so it doesn't sound exactly how an American or a Brit would speak. Uh, it's not normal English, per se. All good news for sure, though. He seems to be really enjoying the bike, the team, and the atmosphere. So hopefully that translates to performance in 2025. I have high hopes for him, and I can't wait to see what he's got next year on the new team and new bike. All right, that's it for today's video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below regarding Jeremy Sewer and the Ducati and how do you think he will perform next year. Don't forget to go support our sponsor, Blood Lubricants. Blood makes premium oil and lubricants in the United States. All high-quality stuff. They have regular engine oil. Clutch RX is their premier engine oil. It helps lengthen the lifespan of your clutch. They even have blood bath, wash, and wax. And they even got some chain lube. They got a whole bunch of products, wide variety of stuff. It's all high quality, but don't just take my word for it. It's also Chris Kiefer tested and approved. So go check it out. I can even save you guys some money. Use our code TMN25 to save 25% off site-wide. So yeah, go check them out. One more thing, don't forget to check out our magazine. Like I said, issue number 10 is available, and we even have some from last year, leftovers, and like I mentioned, our very first issue. So if you want to see where we started, issue number one and issue number 10, you can see our best and our worst uh, issue number one's on sale along with the past issues uh, yeah go check it out the mxnetwork.store huge thanks to all you guys who already bought a copy all right thanks for watching today's video and i will see you guys in the next one